Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Trina and this is Decorate Made Easy. Today I'm going to share with you guys some tips for organizing underneath your kitchen sink. If you are new to my channel then welcome and I want you to why don't you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. So the first thing I like to do when I'm trying to organize any space is to clear everything out of clutter. Clear everything out, declutter everything, purge things that I don't need, and then just I like to just start with a clean slate. So that's what I did here. It wasn't that much stuff under here because I kind of already kind of went out and took all of the uh, cleaning products and everything that I was storing under there out and put them in other designated areas and then I kind of just kind of like uh, wipe the cabinet clean wipe the base of the cabinet cleaned everything out make sure it's clean and there's a, a clean state the clean slate as you can see I went ahead and put one of those green liners underneath my cabinets I mean particularly not every cabinet has that underneath there but particularly this cabinet with the drain pipe for the sink because sometimes it tends to get leaks or whatever or if so we have issues before with our dishwashers so sometimes it tends to leak so this just this liner just kind of protects the cabinet itself for keeping it keeping it from getting any water damage or anything like that so okay guys so what I did was after I laid down my liner and everything at the base of the can, can at the base of the cabinet I kind of went in and kind of played around of where I want to place my organizers now this is a way this is a really good thing to do before you start buying everything make sure you measure your space and make sure uh, the dimensions of your cabinet so that you're not buying things that's too big because I did order an Amazon organizer uh, under the cabinet organizer to fit in the space but for my cabinet it was too large so what I did was instead of returning it I just kind of like took the legs off and then I just used the top of the organizer which is the shelf by itself on that um, right hand side and kind of use that to kind of um, organize and store different little containers that I had or what I, or whatnot and then it did come with a rollout drawer so what I did was I put that rollout drawer with another organizer that I had over here on the left hand side as you can see that I got from Ross and kind of just placed it underneath there and I used that as a basis to store like my um, my kitchen dish cloths and my kitchen towels and things like that so you always want to make sure you measure the space so that you have them you making sure that the organizers that you are ordering are uh, of substantial size and will fit perfectly in your space. Okay guys, so the first thing that I started to um, place inside my um, storage containers underneath my cabinets were my uh, dishcloths and my hand towels. Now this is not all of my dishcloths and hand towels, but this is a majority of it. I did went in and kind of decluttered all of my dishcloths and everything out of there. I kind of threw away all of the ones that had holes in it or stained up or anything like that and got rid of those and bought some brand new ones and put those in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and place these under Underneath the cabinet so that way if they need it we have easy access and then we also have some up in the drawers too as well okay guys so in this photo here I'm just kind of playing around with my different kind of storage storage containers and trying to see how I want everything to look once the items are in its bin so I got these little pink and clear storage containers on the right hand side for King Dollar Dose with a dollar at uh, the dollar store and then these little rose gold little metal uh, containers I got those from Walmart and I had those from maybe about maybe seven or eight months ago and I haven't used them since so I decided to kind of use them in this space here so after doing that, I just kind of, I would take an inventory of all the things that I need to store in this cabinet. And this cabinet is typically, I keep all of my stuff that's related to the kitchen and then some things that are maybe used in the family room. So that stuff, those items include my um, dishwasher liquid, dish pods, dish towels, uh, some hand towels, um, all of my stuff to clean my appliances and everything, things to clean my countertops, um, just all of those things that's related to the kitchen. Those are the items that I store underneath this cabinet. Then I also go in and I always try to store my um, 
my Mrs. Myers uh, multi-purpose uh, cleaners and stuff in there and I actually used a little cleaning caddy that they had given me uh, as a free gift one time I used that cleaning caddy kind of as a caddy for just cleaning the kitchen and then the family room so that's what I have stored in there so it's just things that are related to the kitchen and then maybe the family room that I store underneath this cabinet that way it kind of cuts down all of the clutter and I'm not having unnecessary things that's not related to the area underneath this cabinet okay so then the main things that I stored inside of my uh, those dollar general uh, Dollar Tree or Dollar General bins were I like to have a bin for my Brillo pads and my um, sponges and like my magic erasers and all of that stuff so those are the items that I end up storing in the con in the uh, storage containers that way they are kind of sealed up and there's not um, getting anything on those so those are the things that I stored there and now since those uh, organized that I laid that I put in there from Amazon the one that I have from Ross so it's kind of like a shelf so I was able to stack containers on top of each other and then have a little bit more room to store other things. So I went ahead on the left hand side, I went ahead and just added all of my dish um, dish detergent. So I do have my Mrs. Meyers dish detergent and some other brands of dish uh, dishwashing liquid and stuff up there. Then I also went ahead and added my dish pods and I found this little container here, I believe at Walmart a while back and then I just kind of put my dish pods in there. That way they're, they're sealed in the container. And then I also went ahead and like I said, I added my, um, in the back of the shelf, I have my, um, I have my beeswax for my island. I have my um, stainless steel cleaner. And then I have my Mr. Barkeeper's friend at the back of the uh, shelf back there for, you know, which is my other cleaning uh, utensils, my cleaning products that I use for the uh, kitchen. Then like I said, in the center console, in the center cleaning caddy there, I just have my Mrs. Myers multi-purpose uh, cleaners and I have me a little duster and things like that inside there. It's just things that are clean, you know, and my countertop spray, my Caldrea countertop spray. I have all those things in the container there. So that way, if I need things to clean the kitchen, it's right there at my fingertips. I also have some uh, additional, uh, what do you call those little things, those little metal, um, Brillo scrubby things or whatever that you use to scrub, scrub pots and stuff. I always I had those in the um, in my little uh, rose gold containers too. Just I have those at disposal. Those at my use if I need them. And then I also um, I'm trying to see what else I added here. Also I always keep a roll of paper towel because we have our paper towel rack there that's in the kitchen. So we always have some extra on hand that we can get to uh, if we need some immediately. And then I always keep my um, fire fire exchanger extinguisher I didn't need my kitchen cabinet because you never know you may have a grease fire or anything like that it's easy for us to grab it is right there at our fingertips and is there for uh you know for safety purposes so there so there you go guys and this is how it's looking and I think it looks pretty pretty good it's pretty well organized considering the small space that I have I pretty much got everything that I need it, uh, to keep my kitchen clean and, and organized underneath this cabinet. So I think it worked out pretty well. So this is the end product. Also, you guys, I found these little um, containers from the Dollar General, not Dollar General, but uh, King Dollar. And they're, they're bath containers, but I'm using it to kind of use it as like a little storage container to house my, um, my stopper for my sink. If you want okay guys so that's it for my under the kitchen sink cabinet organization i hope this video gives you guys some motivation to, and some inspiration to start and uh, declutter some of your kitchen cabinets and till next time i'll see you guys in my next video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit that red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it so you'll be notified when i upload a new video until next time i see you guys later bye